All right, after that's done, you'll hit A and you'll come back to the homebrew again. And then you're going to choose the CIOS 222 installer. And this time we're going to choose iOS 249. And just hit A. Okay. And then choose custom iOS 202 and select iOS 38 merged with iOS 60. So 202, iOS 38 merged with 60, and uh, obviously you got to be connected to the internet the entire time you're doing this, so that's one common error. I actually made a mistake there. Uh, make sure every time you go back into the 222 you uh, have 249 selected. Some people get confused there. And you just hit A. And then the second time you're going to choose iOS 38. So here you're going to choose iOS 222 and then you're going to select iOS 38. And it's going to download again. actually made a mistake there. Uh, make sure every time you go back into the 222 you uh, have 249 selected. Some people get confused there. And you just hit A. And then the second time you're going to choose iOS 38. So here you're going to choose iOS 222 and then you're going to select iOS 38. And it's going to download again. Actually made it. And the last part, we're going to go back in to it the last time on this one. Again, 249. And this time, make sure you go down to the last one, iOS 223. We already did 202, 222, now we're doing the 223 and we're going to select iOS 38 merged with 37. Okay, and the last part, we're going to go back in to it the last time on this one. Again, 249. And this time, make sure you go down to the last one, iOS 223. We already did 202, 222. Now we're doing the 223, and we're going to select 
iOS 38 merged with 37. Okay, you're almost done. Now we're gonna go on the last part. And we're going to choose the WAD manager, 1.5. And on the first screen, just hit A. Make sure iOS 2.49 is selected. Hit A. And then A to disable the emulator. And then A to load the SD slot. And the first thing we're going to load is the iOS 70-64-V6687 patched. Free the bug. And it's already selected. Hit A. And A to install. Okay, you're almost done. Now we're going to go on the last part. And we're going to choose the WAD manager 1.5. And on the first screen, just hit A. Make sure iOS 2.49 is selected. Hit A. And then A to disable the emulator. And then A to load the SD slot. And the first thing we're going to load is the iOS 70-64-V6687 patched. Free the bug. And it's already selected. Hit A. And A to install. Okay, you're, now you're going to go down to the Neo Gamma R7, which is currently the newest one, and install that. Hit A. And of course, if you're using any uh, USB loader, K-Boxer has found that uh, this is the best one, and I can't argue with him. The configurable USB loader, which is the last on the list. Hit A. A again. It's going to install. And we'll give you a little demo here in a minute. Now you're going to go down to the Neo Gamma. R7, which is currently the newest one, and install that. Hit A. And of course, if you're using any uh, USB loader, K Boxer has found that uh, this is the best one, and I can't argue with him. The configurable USB loader, which is the last on the list. Hit A. A again, it's going to install, and we'll give you a little demo here in a minute. Now, finally hacked Neo Gamma back on. There's the homebrew channel, and there's the USB loader. All you got to do is go into the USB loader and uh, look at all the games that you legally bought. And here's all the ones I own. Just a couple of them here. Uh, let's see. It's pretty cool. Hit A on a game. That's all folks, once the nunchuck.